A couple of years after I got out of the Army and uh, a couple of before I uh, could make a living at what I was trying to do, which would be a songwriter, I, uh, I got in the Tennessee National Guard and I was down at Fort Stewart, Georgia with a bunch of helicopter pilots and uh, one night with, they were passing a guitar around and I sang this song I'd written in the Army about, about my old flight instructor and one of the guys said, I heard that song over in Vietnam. There's a group over there singing that song. And I just looked up to heaven and said, I told you I was a songwriter. <laughs> anyway, this is, this is the song that made it all the way from Germany to Vietnam on its own. And with apologies to Jimmy Dean and Big Bad John, this is Sky King. Every morning at the line, you could see him arrive. He stood five foot six, about 185, about as broad at the shoulder as it was at the hip. Everybody knew he didn't give a shit, Sky King. Now some said Sky was born in New Orleans, where he built himself a rotor on a sewing machine. Cut his teeth on a collective pitch. Old Sky was a low-flying son of a bitch, Sky King. Sky King, Sky King. Short fat sky. And then came a day at stage field nine when his engine failed and men started crying and sirens screamed and hearts beat fast and everybody thought he'd breathed his last set sky. Well, he pushed that collective on down through the floor, but the damn rotor blade wouldn't turn anymore, and so his butt puckered up, and with a frightening sound, he just sucked that old chopper up off of the ground. Sky King said the ship wasn't hurt, but it took half the class to get the seat cover out of Sky King's ass. Sky King. Sky King. Sky King. Short, fat Sky. Well, they never reopened that landing strip. They just put a marble stand on top of it. These few words are written on that thing. There ain't a butt that can pucker like old Sky King. Thank you.